Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, families. Uh, we have another day of PE with Mr. McShane. Hope you guys are excited today. We've been doing a lot of field games. Um, first week we were talking about uh, about effort, right? About effort and force, how much effort we put into things. Um, more. Uh, the second second week we were talking about power, right? Things like jumping. Um, and today, today is all about coordination, coordination. Um, now specifically in PE and activities and sports and games, we use uh, a term called hand eye coordination. How does your accord to coordinate is to work together, right? Almost to cooperate. So how does your hand and your eye work together uh, to, to be able to do the things that we do? Now today we're going to be doing some circus activities. My circus activities, I mean juggling. All right, I'm going to show you a lot of different ways to, to start juggling, even if you've never done it before. And all of this, although it might be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit calmer, not as much running, it is all helping you to develop hand-eye coordination. All right, so I want, to, I want to show you some of the materials that you should have around if you can. Again, I've seen such creativity from everyone in terms of using different things. I know my last video we did uh, agility ladder and we had students using um, belts, using tape, using chalk, using uh, brooms and they put little wood slats across the brooms. I saw people using water bottles, shoes, stuffed animals to jump across. The creativity is awesome. Let's keep it up. So here's some things I, I like to use for juggling today. Um, scarves right scarves tissues now I'm outside a beautiful day it's a little easier in the house because these will float away on me right now um, these are good for juggling we'll see a little bit more our trusty socks gotta love socks we're gonna be using them today um, you all can use stuffed animals things like that this is a little puppet but again it's fun for throwing and catching the floppier it is the easier it is to catch especially for my young kids k1 and 2 Getting stuff like this that has much more things to grab because they're working on fine motor skills, very important, very important. Um, obviously, balls that bounce, okay? Balls that bounce. This one's not too bouncy, but they're gonna help, especially with some of our more difficult activities in the end. Balls that bounce. Um, you wanna get a little crazier? Let's use bowling pins. I don't know if you've ever been in the circus then juggling bowling pins. Boom, we can use those. Um, and my favorite balloons right floating balloons they float it's easy they stay in the air a little bit longer so a lot easier to kind of get your hands moving right so that's what we got and of course if you have tennis balls or small balls those all work as well but i'm going to use what we showed today those are some materials get those materials ready go 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 all right first step as in with all of our stuff we start slow we start slow okay we take our time we start slow so you're not gonna be able to juggle three four five balls until you can toss and catch one so we've probably done this a couple times but just tossing and catching now you might be like oh, I know how to toss and catch but there's an art to juggling and tossing and catching now when I toss and catch three things number one okay I want to be a I, I want the ball to go a little bit higher than my head every time every time I want it to go a little bit higher than my head not you really high not low I want to be able to see it in my periphery my peripheral vision that means I can look straight ahead and I still know there's a ball right here if it goes up there I lose it right I want it to be able to stick right in my periphery so between my waist and between right above my my head which is about eye level all right so you need to be able to do this number one keeping it in your periphery number two your hand should not go above your chest you should be able to toss it and keep your hand right around your waist okay which means that you're gonna need a little bit of a flick of the wrist you need a flick of the wrist you throw that up there bing bam bing bam nice and then the third thing not looking at the ball St yes when you first start look at the ball watch it into your hands watch it into your hands again and again and again watch it into your hands 30 40 50 times but eventually I want you to get to the point where you're not even looking at the ball you know where it is right and I don't just want you to be able to do it with one I want you to be able to do it 
with two. Both doing the same things. Both hands. Both hands. Now again, if the balls are too big for your hand, let's get smaller, right? Let's get smaller. Again, if this is still too tough, we go even lower. And that's fine. Remember? We get the easier ones, right? Uh, uh. See how it slowly comes down and boom, boom, boom. This one's a little tougher because of the wind right now, all right? So that's how we, we start slow, start slow. Okay, next we can move up to try and, to try and tossing them and moving them as we toss them. This is what it looks like. So I toss and I move. So as this comes up, I'm watching this go across and as that's going across, I am putting this in my hand here. Now some jugglers don't like to do that because they feel like it messes up their, their juggling abilities. But I know that starting to get to the point where I can just juggle it like this and pass them into my hands, quick hands. Look how the ball is moving about head level. My hands aren't going really above my waist and I'm looking at both. You see how now, if I were to look at one, I would lose track of the other. I wanna be able to see the whole picture as I'm juggling. Boom, 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 boom. And then as you're getting better, faster, 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 right? Everything can be going at your speed. So that's the next step. Now it gets challenging. Two balls, two items, one hand. One hand. There we go. Now in this one, I'm gonna to toss it up, right? And as I'm tossing it up, so I have two hand, two items in my hand. See how one is at the top of my palm, one is at the bottom. As I am Licking one up with my hand, the other one rolls down to the bottom. I then catch it, and then I throw up the other one, catch it. You see how my hands are letting the item roll down my hand, right? And now if that's too tough for you, you can, you can do some hand exercises where you get small items and you just practice moving them around your hand. You get smaller balls, smaller items, and you're just practicing moving them around with your fingers. All of this helps with your motor skills and your coordination. That's our word of the day. All right, so once I get a little bit more confident with my hand control, now I can do it one, two, right? I can just do one, one, two, right? One, two, one, two, and start there. You don't have to get 15 right away. One, two, one, two, one, two, boom. Now I can start to go a little bit more, right? If they fall, okay, great, whatever. They're gonna fall, keep going. So I keep going, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You see how my eyes are staying here and the ball is going head and my hand staying at my waist. Boom. Now, I'm not as good with my left, but practice with your left as well. Practice with your, with your other hand as well. Because guess what, in juggling, you don't just use one hand. You use both. You need coordination in football, soccer, hockey, all these activities you need coordination. You want to be good track and field star? Work on your hand-eye coordination. Let me take a step back for a second. Let's say you want to have some fun, right? Things like this. Well, this is where you can kind of just do some fun flipping, right? Right? You're just having some fun, working on your hand-eye coordination. Maybe you catch some stuff in the back. What? Whoa, whoa. Maybe you go under the leg. I don't know. What can you come up with? be creative but moving back here so once you've gotten your two items once you've gotten your one item now it is time for three three what three yes three three now you're gonna have two balls in one hand one in the other 
I'm gonna try and slow it down for you with my hands. But again, if you are not ready, if you're not, if you don't have this, if you don't have this, don't go here. Not yet. And that's okay. Go at your pace. It might take you a couple days. I wanna see you guys working on this all week, all weekend. I wanna see videos next week of you ready for the circus, okay? So again, three items. Smaller the better because it gives you a little bit more control. Easier if you want to do three scarves. I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. But right now, three, three items, okay? So I toss one up. As I toss one up, okay, I'm going to catch it with the other. And that's how I'm just going to start, right? I toss it and catch it. And notice how I'm going to toss it different. Toss it, catch it, right? Toss it, catch it. Toss it, catch it. You see how every time this is in the air, this item rolls to the bottom, just like with my one-handed toss. That's why that, it's so important to practice that first. So I toss it, catch it, toss it, catch it, toss it, catch it, toss it, catch it. Again, even the professionals drop. And then, as I'm getting better, I'm gonna keep my hands here, balls should be going about the same height every time, and this time, as I toss this, before it lands, right before, I'm gonna to toss the other one. Watch how it works. See how I did that? See how I did that? Toss, boom, toss, boom, toss, boom. Ready? And I'm trying to rotate the socks, the, the balls, because remember, they're gonna be rotating in your hands. Ooh, toss, catch, toss, catch. Two hand toss, one hand toss. Two, two ball, one, two, one. Now it's time to add the final one. You ready? Now that I've really practiced there, I've tossed, I've tossed, I've tossed, okay? And I can look forward. Look, I'm looking at you right now while I'm doing it. Toss, 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 toss. It's at my head. Now I'm gonna add in the third one. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? If you're not ready, pause this video. Pause it right now. Go practice, go practice. Cause you're gonna see me do this and you're gonna be like, ah, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. And you're not ready and that's okay. You're not ready. Pause the video, go practice, go practice, go practice. And then come back and let's do this once you're ready. But if you just wanna sneak peek on what your, your goal should be, then, then, then stay tuned. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now even me, I'm having to catch it here, it's because I'm not throwing it right around my arm level. I'm gonna do it this way, and I'm gonna do it this way so you can see where it should be. So you see how the items are going through the middle before, right? Again, I'm dropping it, because that's what happens. Now, as it gets more challenging, I add in more balls, right? Right? Same thing. Now let's get crazy with it. <laughs> simple stuff. And by simple, I mean simple once you've practiced. Then we can have some fun with it, throw in some balloons, right? <laughs> you want the balls to be the same weight. So if you're using two balloons and one big ball, you're gonna get all thrown off. All right, let me show you one more activity that takes a little bit more skill and a little bit more coordination all right this next one I'm in a different location because I want to use a wall now it could be a wall in your house again if it's safe it could be I have a little garage out here I'm gonna use all right so I got two balls now I'm gonna add in a bounce okay so again hand-eye coordination throw it bounce throw it bounce throw it bounce throw it bounce 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 now I'm gonna do some juggling where it is boom, 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 boom. See how I'm juggling with the wall? Bam, bam. Or if I don't wanna use the wall, I can just use the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I can go one and then the other. One, other, one, other. Woo. Right? All of these things help with your coordination. So that's all we got today, kiddos. 
I hope you enjoyed another episode of PE with Mr. McShane. Please get out there, grab some items, uh, find a place in your house that's safe, and, and work on your hand-eye coordination. It will help you a lot next year and when we come back together with a lot of the activities. It'll also help you in any kind of sports or activities and games you want to play. Uh, hand-eye coordination. Your hands, your hands and your eyes working together to do what you want them to do. It's a beautiful thing. Have a great day, guys. This is PE with Mr. McShane, and I'll see you next week.